Okay, now it's time to talk about your afternoon off and how to really, really enjoy it. Now, this is a really fun part of the week, so I want you to smile and relax because I know that sometimes following such a meal schedule and following certain kinds of foods can get on your nerves a little bit. So this is the time when you can totally relax and just eat what you feel like eating. Now, as I've mentioned, it's a great idea to keep a list all week of those little foods and those little treats that you're really missing and then refer back to that list when you have your afternoon off. My suggestion is actually to make a quick plan the day before so that you can think about maybe some places you'd like to go out for some of your meals. Now, there's two reasons for this. First of all, it just makes for a really good day. But secondly, it means that you're not stocking up on those kinds of foods at home. Now, of course, if you're going to cook at home, that's totally fine. But try not to leave any leftovers or even any leftover ingredients. Now, let's have a look at your routine on your afternoon off day because it's very, very important that you have the right approach and the right mindset so you can really enjoy it. So to get going in the morning, all you need to do is have a regular breakfast, just like what you enjoy every other day of the week. And then a couple of hours later, if you'd like, you can have a cup of coffee and some grapefruit juice. Now, both of these things help you and actually set things in your favor for the rest of the day. So it's a good idea to have them if they're things that you enjoy. Then you start your meal at lunchtime with anything in mind. And I mean anything. So you might enjoy a pizza, you might enjoy some nachos or anything else that you've been dreaming about all week. And then it continues throughout the afternoon have a really great meal at dinner time as well, and then just finish it off when you go to bed that day. Now, of course, you might try and experiment with a few different things. You might go to some different places for meals. And some other days, you might just feel like staying home and eating tons of fruit and yogurt. <laughs> I mean, it's totally up to you what you want to do on this day off. By no means should you feel obliged to go out for food, and you definitely shouldn't feel like you have to eat pizza all day long if you totally hate pizza. Now, there's a couple of extra things, just some little tips that I can give you that can actually make this day really successful and that can limit any fat coming back on. So, first of all, there are some little exercises you can do around your meal times, and they're pretty simple. They only take a couple of minutes each, and they can actually mean that more of your food energy goes into your muscles and therefore less gets stored in your fat cells. So, quite simply, around five minutes before your meal, and around an hour and a half after your meal, you can do some wall presses and some squats. Now you probably want to check out the info sheet on your afternoon off because it's got all the details on these and you'll learn lots from that sheet. But basically you do about 120 seconds of each of these exercises and that's all you need to do. Also make sure that you drink one to two glasses of water with each meal because that really helps your digestion and especially on this day you need to be hydrated. And most of all, enjoy the food. Don't hurry through a meal. Don't eat on the run or eat in your car. Take your time. And if you feel like it, make it a really fun social event. Now, if you have chosen to do exercise and workouts as part of your lifestyle, this day would be a fantastic day to do a workout at the gym. The best time for it would be in the mid-afternoon, probably about an hour or two after lunch. But I want to let you know that this isn't critical. It's not something you have to do. But if it's something that's part of your routine, then it's a good idea. There's some extra little tips and tricks that I want to let you in on. The first one is cinnamon. And cinnamon can actually lower the glycemic index of any meal. So you can have a little bit of cinnamon perhaps in your coffee, or you can even have a little bit of cinnamon on some of the food that you're enjoying. But always make sure you keep it to a maximum of about two teaspoons in a day. You don't need much, and it's actually a blood thinner. So if you're taking any medications that thin the blood, do be careful with cinnamon. Next on that list is lemon juice, and lemon juice can really help to lower those blood sugar peaks. So you can have some lemon juice in water, and of course that means including fresh water with a fresh slice of lemon. The other two things you can use on this day are salsa and coffee, and both of those things tend to speed up your digestion. Now the faster your digestion is going, the less chance your body has to absorb nutrients from the food that you've eaten, and therefore the less chance you have to actually gain fat from that food. Now that finishes off how to have a great afternoon off. I hope you really, really enjoy your first one and your second one and third and fourth and into the future because it's a great part of this lifestyle.